expecting anything. So <laughs> it's okay, long time. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the United Nations, was created to become the housing for the Illuminati Great Conspiracy. <coughs> no! So let's have a top five list of the worst Bugs Bunny cartoons. Starting with number five, all this and rabbit steel. Now, the reason why I placed it so high on the list should I say so low, since this isn't really cringe compared to the other reboots, which I'll get to later. All this in Rabbit's do depicts racial stereotypes, which, although they're nothing in comparison to the shit you see on TV today, are actually, surprisingly, subpar somewhat. You know, because Keep in mind, this was the Al Jolson era, before he died in 1950. So, Al Jolson must have been looking at this, and he was like, Uh-uh, man, I ain't buying that shit. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till you hear my review on it later. But, anyway, this is just the whole point. All this in Robert Stew is okay, but definitely not one of the best early 40s to mid 50s Bugs Bunny shorts of the Merry Melodies and Looney Tunes catalogs respectively. Now on to number 4, What About Pre-Hysterical Hair? Of course this has a backdrop that is regarding the past lives of Elma Fudd and Bugs Bunny respectively and surprisingly has music by John Seeley instead of the typical Milk Franklin or Carl W. Stolling. Why do I say this? Well, hell, it's actually pretty simple. It's not all to be around. You see, they used stock music in this particular case, which is really not the wisest choice to make here. Which is why that single tone dissonance at the beginning of that clip within a clip that Bugs shows of his ancestor and, Bo and Bugs adversary Elmer Bugs ancestor, you know, that, that tone just says it's all, it's too much fucking cringe. I'm not gonna go into why, it's just, it's just bland, it's bland. But for the most part, it's actually surprisingly good compared to all this other stuff you see on TV. But Regarding number three, and bear in mind, number three is quite a bit more cringe. So we're about to raise the cringe factor up to fucking ten. And with that, let's go to number three. Bugs Bunny is busting out all over for all the wrong reasons. Now this was part of a series of relaunch shorts in the 1980s and 90s in some cases to basically give Bugs Bunny the same kind of formality and regality that it did with previous generations for a new youngling audience. Did this not pan out well? No, it did not. The basic fact is simple. Mel Blanc, the infamous voice of a thousand or so characters, the man with a thousand voices, mind you, is basically struggling to recapture the mania that was his Bugs Bunny character from decades past. And you can see it in his voice considering he's, I would say, in his early to mid-70s when this first came out, when he did voiceover for this. But it all pans out, and it doesn't pan out as well as people might think it would. Needless to say, this was pretty cringe. Why do I put this on number three, as far as this list is concerned? Lots none of your fucking damn business, now is it? Of course it's your business. Right. So why don't we get to number two, and, and keep in mind, this is not 
But it's not the worst either compared to the one that comes after this coming one, so keep that in mind. Here we have number two. What can I say about Horsehair, this, this 1960 cartoon depicting Native Americans as being, you know, somewhat inferior. But this, despite the fact that there's really, really good storytelling and prime first class top of the line voice acting in it, gonna see a Mel Blanc of course, this is actually quite insensitive to Native Americans, and I know that there are some of you in the audience who are probably agreeing with me that horse hair is probably too cringe not to be considered offensive, and in many of your eyes, particularly the indigenous American audience, it is in fact a bit offensive, but since everyone else is offended by everything else, it just makes perfect sense to include this as number one on the list. Now, I'd like to unveil to you several honorable mentions. You know, the Bugs Bunny Road Runner Hour. Not necessarily the best, just reruns. You know, just reruns. A couple of those newer 3D animated Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies shorts. I mean, they are good, don't get me wrong, they're well refined. But uh, some of them are just very cringe. And of course, the number one in cringe worthy Bugs Bunny stuff goes to that Tumblr post that I made. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Number one was Buddy Bugs. Related shit posting goes to Baby Looney Tunes because, of course, it's Baby Looney Tunes. They tried to make this marketable towards infants and toddlers and newborns. But the people at Warner Brothers, when they decided to give this early 2000s cartoon an rip off of the original adult sized. Looney Tunes Merry Melody shorts. Obviously, they were making one big mistake. The jokes were too flat. The risks were pale and few and far between. This was basically a sad attempt at recreating the infancies and childhoods of the infamous Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies characters that we all come and love today. Or, I should say, come to know and love today. My, th my apologies, forgive me. Forgive me. But anyway, this is just... When you put Baby in front of any long-standing popular cartoon franchise like Tom and Jerry or say, Animaniacs, or some other sort of popular cartoon franchise, it just doesn't pan out much less well, at all. And nobody knows why or how, but either way you look at it, it's far too cringe. And because of that, this, this cartoon had four years worth of airtime. And these people at the WB cartoon department, Warner Brothers, I mean, Warner Brothers Animation, decided to give Baby Looney Tunes four years worth of episodes. But from the very first episode, not even three minutes in, you knew it was going to suck. And it was going to suck hard. But you get the idea. Baby Looney Tunes is too much cringe for you. If you're not offended by this, then you are a stone faced GOLD! FUCKING Hi in the What the hell did you say? Oh my god. Disney fired fire stick ball. Didn't he just fire Jake Paul? Oh my god, it's, it's, that's not true, is it? Yes, it's true! Ah! Now you won't find me one I can run. You wonder what I used to, I wanna know, man. I wanna 
don't know what if I just... Oh, because he's an antichrist, that's why. Oh. What what happened to PewDiePie? Getting him in a moment. Okay. Hey, does anybody know who Jake Paul is? What, you haven't seen his content? No. I haven't seen his content. In fact, I rarely check on YouTube at all. You ain't had a YouTube channel? No. Well, I have a YouTube channel. It's been around for five decades. But... Not that you care about it, but whatever. I... Right. I don't even... I don't even care about you two. Yeah, me neither. Oh, we're gonna talk about Jake Paul. Uh, oh, Alright! If you thought Jake Paul's life was in a world of shit, right? <laughs> Jake Paul's life just gonna be worse! Quite a bit worse! Oh my god, man. What the hell? He quits the show bizarre Bob mid season. And you wonder why he's Bob the Illuminati. But he knows what that is. Why is that? Because he's a fucking antichrist. Oh, you don't say, huh? Yeah, you don't say. In fact, I don't say either. Well, that's figuring that. Right. Say so what happened to PewDiePie? You want to really get to PewDiePie? Yeah, let's get to PewDiePie. I think we all want to know what happened to PewDiePie. Oh, you don't want to know, buddy. You don't want to know. Oh, I want to know! Oh, you really want to know? You really want to know what happened to PewDiePie? Well, I'll tell you what happened to PewDiePie. He got... PewDiePie got fired from Disney for speech. For speech? For speech? For speech? Yeah, for speech. Oh my god! And people wonder why he's part of the Illuminati. Well, now does he right there, don't they? <laughs> comfort of his laptop all by himself and publish original material you know like like I don't know he could you know potentially make his own animated short film like I'm about to release this coming 15th of June or whatever yeah tell us about that I'm not gonna tell you about that cuz you wanna wanna hold okay say what did PewDiePie get fired for I'm just curious. Yeah, I want to know too. Oh, you didn't know? No. No. Have you been living under a rock for the last 15 years? No. Oh, that's that's right because you don't know anybody. Of course I don't. Know. Don't put that against me. Don't go on against me, buddy. It's a little bit of that. I know. Don't even worry about it. So PewDiePie's in deep shit too, huh? Yeah, he's in deep shit. And you know what PewDiePie's channel is in general? I'll give you a hint. It's in the form of a summoning song and one of the first demos. <laughs> What, you were expecting somebody to spit and not kiss, weren't you? Yeah. 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 Fuck it, let's just, let's move on, okay? Because I don't have fucking time for this. It's a 30-minute show. We can make it as long as we want. We can make it 35 minutes. We can make it 50. We can make it 100. Honestly, does, does it matter at this point? I don't know! Yo, 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 yo! PewDiePie and anti-Semites, it's crunch time! Aha! I was going to say crunch time, because that's copyrighted by WWE, and I don't want to copyright on WWE, because they didn't kill my channel on the past. Yeah, But anyway, he got fired by Disney because of anti-Semite and anti-Jew remarks, apparently. 
Nothing that matters, but nobody cares. Nobody cares, man. Just fucking move on. Well, I could, but that would prevent me from making any further fun with them. Because we're not about making fun of people like PewDiePie and Jake Paul. We're about making fun with PewDiePie and Jake Paul. I mean, Paul. Well, he might as well be falling because that's what he's for. His name is Jake Paul and he falls down to earth like a sack of shit. Obviously. But does it make any difference at this point? No, nah, man, it don't make no difference. He's gonna fall down to the pits of hell anyway because it, it, it's just he's, a, he's an attention seeker. Yeah, well, I'm an attention seeker too, and who is it? Everybody's an attention seeker now that I think about it. Hey, you stole my line! I didn't mean to steal your line. Well, well, what about all those other times when you stole my catchphrase? Don't even worry about it, Ransom. We're, we're, we're all cool on that, alright? Besides, this is a public domain. Oh, so you're gonna compare me to Microsoft Sam now? No, no, that's not, that's not what I mean, man. I don't remember half the shit that I, that I used to know, but I wouldn't call you out and pretend to be Microsoft Sam, because I know you, you're better than that, right? You, 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 are you better than that? I forgot. Yeah, I'm better than that, man. You've always known that. From the freaking get-go. And you wonder why I'm a schizophrenic. Does that mean I'm a schizophrenic too? Not really, but... They probably just skip the generation so your daughters might end up, or your or your children or your offspring or whatever it might be, but but definitely not you. You're an exception to the rule. Oh, okay. Why don't we just move on already? Yeah, let's move on. Explosive for being an anti Jew. Let's just let's just say that, okay? I, I don't want to get into any more detail because there's a chance that he's gonna sue us now. He's not gonna sue us. He may have plenty of money, but he's not gonna sue us. What's the point in that? I don't know. Me neither. Let's just fucking get this shit over with and move on to a completely new topic, which we will absolutely not discuss in a future episode. Will we discuss this in this episode? No! So, I heard that Jake Paul's YouTube channel is probably going to get terminated. Don't even mention that! Okay. What else do we talk about? I don't know. What, what do we talk about? Yeah, let's talk about something else. Hey, I got an idea. Why, why, don't, why don't we talk about how to, how to clean house or that shit like that, right? Why don't we talk about how to clean house? You know that that's actually probably a good idea, isn't it? Let, let's talk about how to clean house. Good, good, good. Nobody ain't gonna get this jump in. Let's just turn the notes starting right. English! Let's move on to another topic. These nuts! Dr. Abi Dumas. So I can go jump jump. You got your masters of bullshit! Hey there, look what we have here! It's a funny looking cookie monster! Um, no, that's actually a pot of gold found in a long abandoned house in France. Which is where my nipples went to. Oh, you don't say! Yeah, I say. Damn, bruh! You need to get your nipples back, man! Oh, I'm not going to Paris to get them back. I'm going to the Eiffel Tower. That, that doesn't even make sense! What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus! Wait a second, wait a second! Is that Stormy Daniels? No. Then who is it? Some porn actress you've never heard of. But that, 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 that can't be! Is, is that? That's gotta be Stormy Daniels! No, it's not Stormy Daniels. But this particular pornographic actress has become a born again Christian. She's born again. She's become a renowned Christian. You know, she, she turned to the light side for once. She turned to God. She told him to help him set her straight, and she decided to get right with him. So, needless to say, she's not Stormy Daniels. Is that right? That's right. I don't know how to respond to that, so can we move to the next 
let's pop it. No, let's let's continue on with with this this beautiful long lady. Ow! Let's go on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> oh man, what the fuck is that? It's ice cream mixed with beer. Oh! <laughs> oh God! Why the hell would anyone want to make ice cream with beer? I don't know. I guess that's YouTube's decision to decide. Maybe they can tell us why. Maybe the people on Reddit. We got who answers. Technically, I got kicked off of Yahoo Answers. Oh, really? Why is that? Seven Januarys ago, actually in 2011, I predicted that Alberto Del Rio would not win the Royal Rumble, and it actually turns out that he did. So some smarts on the Yahoo Answers website got me permanently s s suspended off of the Yahoo Answers site, so I can't answer any questions or ask any of my own anymore. But I don't care, so I don't use Yahoo Answers anymore. But that doesn't mean I stopped using Yahoo, because I still go on there occasionally to check my emails. No. Donald and Kim Jong Un handshake and during their summit. Apparently they reached a deal, but that's not the point of it. What's the point of it? The point is, a woman scratched off a lottery ticket on her way to church and won a million bucks! She became a millionaire! Praise the Lord! But have you heard about that Trump Kid Summit yet? Yeah, I've heard of the Trump Kid Summit. I think it went all pretty well, didn't it? Yeah. But, seriously, what about the one? Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! She won a million bucks. What's she gonna do with that? She's probably almost spending on fucking crap. Not that anybody cares, but let's just move on. Alright? Nobody cares. Nobody. It, it happens every day, okay? It happens somewhere in the world every second. It's normal. So, if you ever heard of this, this Japanese knowledge named Sayaka Murata? Uh, no, never heard of her. Who's that? She thinks that odds oh, new normal. And you know what? She's not right in thinking odd is the new normal. Because it is! Because I see it all the time in the news. Oh, you don't say. Yeah, I say, man. Let me just, let me explain something to you, alright? This woman's not different than you and I. I mean, she may be odd, but I know somebody, I know plenty of people who are odd too. Yeah, I know that because I'm odd. And I have a specific... <laughs> But of course, you already knew that, so let's move the fuck on. <laughs> hey, now here's something you don't see every day. An artist tries to find her childhood bully on social media, but she ends up finding this instead. Wait, that's the bastard that bullied her all throughout childhood? If that's the case, then damn, Irony's a bitch, isn't it? You damn right! But that law moment is nothing in comparison to these two fucks that you see right here. This filthy rich shithead and that power hungry hippo. We'll just call him Justin Trudeau. Except there's nothing true about him because he's super well hurt. shit all by letting in all these ISIS fucks is the day everybody lost all credibility with him and the day that he lost all credibility with everybody else. So it kind of figures, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. See, Justin Trudeau's an asswipe. He always was, wasn't he? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't even want to discuss politics right now. Well, too bad, because you came to the wrong place, sucker. Okay, I'll just leave. I'll just leave. Who wants to talk about bullshit? I do. I want to talk about bullshit. You yeah, want to talk about bullshit too? Okay. By the way, that filthy shithead I was referring to was obviously not Trump. I'm a pro-Trumper for life. I was referring to that filthy rich lady on the far left of your screen. Of course, that was in a previous segment that just now passed away. But still, I wasn't referring to Trump with that. So just so you know. Pro Trump for life, for the win, because we all need a little Donald John Trump in our lives, 
and we need him now more than ever because we we got this guy's the greatest president that ever lived you know that he's the greatest guy that's ever lived greatest businessman ever greatest president ever and he did all this just in the last 18 months no democrat in history can ever say that most republicans in history can never say that but he can previous presidents extracted more concessions with North Korea. Let's just take that in and let it soak in. Because, you know, after Ronald Reagan, the next four presidents that came after him fucked us. But Donald Trump's our 45th now, so he's not going to fuck us. In fact, he's helping us now, and he's proving it every single day. And he's making America the greatest superpower in the world once again. Absolutely right! Right. 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 I mean, you, you get it? Yeah. Seriously, though. I mean, it's just common sense. Any, anyone in a group home that's mentally handicapped can tell you that first and foremost. And some of these people don't even watch the news. They just, they get their feed online now. They don't even watch TV anymore. Well, well, some of them watch TV just to relive old memories, but still. Those people have it absolutely made in comparison to what I'd like to call the Cerebral Antenna. Mainly the powers that claim to be, but aren't because they're so full of shit and their minds are so full of shit that you might even say that they're literal shitheads. Living in shitholes, trying to govern shit-based policies that don't fucking work for shit. Which kind of- Oh, oh, oh what do we have here? A navigator's roads across a lot of airport runway. <laughs> now that shit is funny. <laughs> Look at it. Look at that navigator. <laughs> nah, that is funny. You don't say. Yeah, I know it. Say, who wants to get some tequilas at my place? Uh huh. I do. I do. Also, just in deep blue Trudeau, who's not true as they think they is, think that he's wearing a fake armor. Fake, 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 fake. Just like fake face. Hey, what's funny in the world? Your face. By the way, this episode of Talking to Myself News is sponsored by totally not CNN, but no, it's sponsored by DeviantArt. Because everybody needs a little deviance in their lives, because everyone's a deviant, right? And you can express your art form in any way you choose, just as long as it's not MA or rated X or whatever, that, that shit won't fly. And it's also being sponsored by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is paid by Sucus like you. Bye bye. Please help a brother out. Please. Yeah.